Hey everybody, all right, we're coming up to the uh, U.S.-Canadian border. Pigeon River. Okay, so this is the Canadian port of entry and also the exit. Entering Central Standard Time Zone. There it is. Pigeon River. And I take it this is the crossing for Canada. Look, the stop sign or the speed limit says 30 miles per hour what lane do we need to be in how about identification ready for inspection Oh look, clearance 13 foot 6, not meters. <laughs> Wonder what kind of uh, identification they like. I would imagine passport. Right, passport. I don't think they need registration. Passport and COVID. Wait at line until called forward. What line? I don't see any line. Hello. Okay. I'm sorry? No, I was just bringing your license plate. Where are you coming in from? Okay, where are you coming from, John? Uh, I live in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Just went around Lake Superior. Uh -huh. And then I'm going home. How long did it take you to go around? Uh, yesterday at about, I don't know, 6 or 7 p.m. Okay, did you stop anywhere in between? Uh, Wawa. Spend the night there at the uh, motel. Are you traveling by yourself? Hi. Are you traveling by yourself? Yes. Okay, what, do you, what did you purchase in Canada? What we got in there? Just camping stuff, motorcycle, tools, emergency stuff. Nothing no organic, purchased. no food. Nothing purchased over in Canada that you're bringing no. back? No. What do you do for work, John? Hmm? What do you do for work? I'm a truck driver. Okay, where at? International or domestic? Uh, I'm a commercial. Commercial. Have you crossed this port before? This port? No. Yes, no. Do you need my driver's license? Mm -mm. Why are you pulling it up? Alrighty. Well, back. Right, thank you. Is it a pretty quiet day today? No, it's been steady. Everybody yeah. coming in for the 4th of July weekend. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye. 
Bye. Okay, here we go. Welcome to the United States of America. <laughs> Welcome to Minnesota. Oh, wow. That's got a very beautiful ring to it, doesn't it? Look, Minnesota. <laughs> Woohoo! All right. We got 1,119 miles to Sheboygan. And Mama wants me home as soon as humanly possible. So we got to go. Duluth, Minnesota, 151, I think it was. 453 a gallon 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 453 a gallon <laughs> I'm loving it Oh my oh my oh my grand Portage, I think, a grand something. <sighs> Mount Josephine. Wow, I tell you. Glad to be home. How in the world is Sheboygan? 1,118 miles is it from here. <laughs> crazy, crazy. That there is uh, Lake Superior. Wow, this is sad. <laughs> Loving it. The trailer's on the curb. Check that out. Check that out. Look at that. We came, we saw, we gotta go. <laughs> The local time is 5.11 Central Time. I did put my passport in there, didn't I? Yep, it's in there. This would have been a, a really good trip for about four days. Then you can really soak it all in, you know. Stop at every vantage point. Scenic views. But we gotta go. Story of our life, right? We gotta go, we gotta go. 
Grand Portage Bay. Look, a bear, a bear, look, a black bear. Ha! We finally saw a black bear. Okay, so today I saw a bald eagle, a moose, a very small moose, and that one a black bear. That was pretty cool. It had a tag on it though. A black bear. It's pretty big size. The local time is 536. Temperature is at 63 degrees Fahrenheit. And we are down to 1092 miles to Sheboygan. Right now our fuel is about a quarter of a tank. The next town up is about 15, 14 miles. I hope they have gasoline over there. <laughs> Man, I gotta get me a gas can. That's just not... That's just not gonna work without it. Let's see, what else is there? Yeah, that's... I'm tempted to drive the rest of it home. I don't know, right? 1,091 miles. Ugh. Well, I'll have to play it by ears, I would imagine. What's going on here? Lake Superior is right about there. There. Look, 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 look. Later. Colville, welcome to Colville, Minnesota. Beautiful 
Volcom wires. I think it was C O L V I L L E, Colville, Minnesota. All right, everybody. There's another beautiful view here. Welcome to the United States. Oh, wow. Temperature here is 64 degrees. Look, there's an island over there. Looks like he's got fishing in his mind. This is Grand Marais, 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 Grand Marais, Minnesota. Local time is 5.48. Looks promising, quite populated. I am quite confident that they have gas stations here. Subway. There's a marathon right there. Hmm. Let's go down a ways yet. Four sixty two a gallon. There's a holiday. Beautiful place. 
But I think we need to go back. that one Visit Cook County. border. They're all out of 87s and that a dope. <laughs> Later. Hey everybody, something a little screwy going on. I've been reading the GPS on my uh, Garmin here on my motorcycle. It says 1,068 miles. But on the Google map it says 493. We could actually be home today. We're only 493 miles to Sheboygan. Something's not right. It says I will arrive at 1.52 p uh, a.m. Okay, yeah, well, it's kind of like, how could it be 1,000 miles? In the back of my head, while I was saying 1,100 miles, there was something kind of screwy about it. And I just couldn't put my finger on it, you know? I don't know why, but I'm going to have to, uh, I don't know what's going on. It's probably saying that I need to go back to St. Marie. Is that what it is? Okay, so again, this trip has been at 939 miles, right? 
939 plus whatever mileage is over here. 490 miles. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. This, I can make this work. I can make this work. Alright, I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, that was a little nutty. Later. Okay, I had a pull over and water some desperately needed tree. There was a a tree that was desperately needed some water. What a relief. The last time I had a pit stop was in uh, by Tim Hur Tim Hortons. Okay, so I also turn off the GPS or the engine. Turn off the engine, it turns off the GPS, restarted it and hit home what was 1,000 miles is now 475 miles away <laughs> wow that is so cool are we having some kind of a drizzle here oh uh, boy I think so But yeah, look at that. 475 miles to Sheboygan. Temperance a river. Trailers are there, tires are good. Can you guys see the tires? Yeah. Cameras there. We're good to go. All right, the local time is 6.37 p.m. I sincerely apologize for misleading you guys. I didn't know. I kind of mis misled myself. It's just so mind-boggling. I keep saying a thousand miles. Like, how can I be a thousand miles from Minnesota? When it's only, what, 1,500 miles to Glacier National Park in Montana from Sheboygan. So, oh, what a dummy. One of my immediate goal is to find a uh, a Walmart. Oh look, 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 look. Later. Peace. Hey everybody, John Abigadir. Hello and good evening greetings. Um, we're about 20, 19 miles north of Duluth, Minnesota and uh, we are traveling on this Highway 61 South. The local time is 819. <coughs> Temperature is at uh, 57 degrees. I got my snow pants legging on so I'm good to go. I got a kind of a fleece jacket and this windbreaker I feel great right now all right um, we are 415 miles to Sheboygan 415 and I don't know what happened to uh, my trip odometer trip a 
remember I was uh, I was trying to tell you how far or how many miles that it was since we left Sheboygan and now it's back down to 90 miles I don't know if I accidentally tripped it or does that go to zero after a thousand miles so I don't know I don't know what happened to it anyway um, four, 414 miles to Sheboygan as long as it doesn't rain too much tonight I'm gonna try to make it home I could be home somewhere around 2 to 3 o'clock in the morning God willing one of the reasons I'm a little bit in a hurry since I found this time I'd like to go home and then take this whole setup apart put away stuff possibly wash Goldie you know put all the camping gear where it's supposed to be put the trailer in the backyard Woody and then uh, boy I have a lot of videos to edit so all right we are cruising at 70 miles per hour I tell you, that trailer is just phenomenal. It, it just tracks and you don't really notice it. It's back there. So everything is good. Peace. Okay, so I think this is Duluth, Minnesota. The local time is 8.33. Temperature is at 54. Continuing our journey home, 400 miles. Nice house. Maybe this is not Duluth. Maybe it's premature. I guess 
Highway 61 turns into Interstate 35. Uh oh, there comes the rain again. This is the first semi I've seen going north today. Maybe not, I don't know. Road worker had four miles ahead on uh, 35. Wow, that'll be a couple million dollar house. Yeah, I guess this is the loop. Oh, that rain. I gotta put these cameras away. Put these cameras away. Just gotta find me a place to pull over. <laughs> Later. Hey everybody, John of you there. Look, we made it. 3.42 a.m. Monday, July 4th. Oh, ha, what an incredible day. I started this morning in Wawa, Ontario, all the way to Thunder Bay, Ontario, Duluth, Minnesota, Superior, Wisconsin, down to uh, uh, Marathon, Wisconsin to here. Figure out the miles. That's a lot of miles. But we made it by the grace of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I am shattered, so I'm going to sleep. Peace.